Hello. How are you? What's your name? Shorty. Shorty, I'm Chloe. Glad to meet you. I am not trying to be rude or anything, but a couple of the people are complaining. I think that people want you to move to a different area, if that's okay. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. I will do that. Okay. Shorty, you dropped your sweater. Thank you. I feel really bad. My conscience is kicking in. Oh my God. What? That homeless man that's been like outside. Yeah? I told him to leave and like he, he was walking away and he dropped his sweater so I like ran after him. And I was like, what's your name? His name is Shorty. Uh, and he's like petite and that's little. That's like my name. No one's offered to ever help him. It's really sad. Let's call mom and ask her what we should do. Let me call mom. Hello? Mom. Yeah. Dilemma. There's like a homeless, There's like a man, homeless that... man and digging in the garbage cans. What do we do? Have a little compassion. Maybe the guy's really down and out and he doesn't know what to do. What? Well, obviously. obviously. That's why he's outside rolling in dirt. Chloe. Bad um, attitude. This is a great time to tell Chloe that it's not always all about us. And that maybe once in a while it's a great thing to help somebody else out. See if he needs something to eat, Chloe, and maybe there's something you can do, you know, for him. It's somebody that's obviously a lot less fortunate than we are, and I think that you should just think about what you would want somebody to help you with. Okay, Gabby Gab, you're right, love you. Hi, Shorty. Oh, this Hi. is my sister, Courtney, this is Shorty. Hi, Shorty. How you doing? People call me Shorty, too. This is my little Shorty. You little teddy bear, you short as I am. <laughs> I know, I'm five feet tall. I just feel bad sending you away. I want to help you a little. Come with me in my car, and I want to take you to get showered and cleaned up. OK. OK? I think Chloe is absolutely insane. How are we going to bring a homeless guy into our house where my two little sisters are? Shorty, you can sit on this side. You can get over on that side. Yeah, I got it. I know this seems crazy, but what the f he seems like such a nice guy. So this is our house. Yeah. Welcome. This ain't a house. This is a mansion. Shorty needs a shower, and my mom told me to do whatever I needed to to help him. So I'm going to use her shower. Going to get you some scrubbies. This one's good for, like, your whole body. It's like a loofah that exfoliates your skin. When was the last time you had a haircut? Mm -hmm. You don't know? We're going to trim you first. Looking good. You're starting to look handsome. Do you feel better? Yeah. OK, I want to get you some clothes now. I have a great wardrobe that I'm going to pull for you. Court, do you think Bruce will care? No, he won't mind. Bruce never wears these. Get you some underwear. <laughs> Dressing you nice. <laughs> Shorty looks like a new man. Then he smiles, and I notice his beautiful, empty mouth. When was the last time you've been to the dentist? No, I have been there for a while. You haven't? <laughs> Do you want to go to the dentist? My friend is a dentist, and he's amazing. I could call him. It'll be fun. Oh, You'll yeah. A mouthful of gold. I'll be there. Oh, my god. I got to get him over to a dentist. Poor. It feels so bad that we just, like, ditched Shorty off on Bruce. The cutest no. man I've ever met. Who? Shorty. He's our homeless man that we adopted. Yeah, right. You did not. Him. The Shorty. The homeless guy that we took in and we brought him here. You didn't know that we did right. that? You did not bring <laughs> in a homeless guy. I do no, not Bible. That. We found him at Dash. OK. No. At Dash? <laughs> he was shopping at Dash. <laughs> We're not really sure what to do with Shorty. We don't want to put him back on the street, so we're going to take him to the homeless shelter. Shorty! Shorty, let's Show see. us your teeth. Oh, oh, my God! Oh, my God! You look like a new person! I don't think you notice. You shaved more of your face. Oh, my gosh, you did. High five. <laughs> Shorty is a completely different person. He looks so good. He has brand new teeth. He shaved even more, and I can tell that his confidence has gone way up. 
This is Kim. Hi, Hello. Shorty. Nice to meet you. I'm Kim. Come you on. Like How are you? <laughs> Shorty looks amazing. He has sparkly blue eyes. He looks stunning. Are you ready to shake, rattle, and roll? Mm -hmm. What do you think all your friends are going to say? They're going to be jealous, huh? Could you around me? I don't understand it. Could you bring, the, bring it out of me? <laughs> I bring out the good? Yeah, you did. Oh, that's so oh, nice. Thanks, Shorty. We're in the car, and Shorty is loving himself some Courtney. I've got Shorty's arm around me. I think he's in love. We're almost at the shelter. <laughs> I got along with you real well yesterday. Thanks, Shorty. He's getting pretty close. I'll let them have a moment. Are you going to miss us? Yeah. We're going to miss you. We're here, you guys. What's wrong? Are you sad? I think at the end of the day, it really feels good to help somebody and know that they appreciate it. You're going to miss me and Courtney? Well, you know Do you what? want my bracelet to remember me? Oh. It's an angel wing, so you're always going to be protected. All right, bye, Shorty. Bye. So nice to meet you. Remember Take your care bracelet. Of yourself. Keep the bracelet. I will. OK. Take the care of yourself. Wings. Chloe and Courtney did a really great thing. I'm really proud of them. You were sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Shorty. Thank you, Shorty. Shorty. We're going to miss you. Call us, OK? OK. Get to you later. You. Bye. Thank you. Get it, Shorty. You are right, and I hate to say that, <laughs> but I actually enjoyed myself with Shorty today. You did? So did I. See, you really inspired somebody to be better and to better their I own life. Because treated him like a human being that he is. He cried when he left. He was so, so cute. And he was so sad. He cried? He cried. He went to have a drink, and he took a sip of his beer, and then he put it down because he wants to now get an apartment and start making money. It's just really remarkable how you guys were treating somebody that, you know, you didn't even know. And it takes so little to make somebody else happy. The most important thing that we have in our lives to give is love and our and time. And each other. And Aww. each other. Aww. I'll suck guys. my now, Chris.